guys, what's up? This is Jordan Crook with TechCrunch, and I'm here today with the CEO and founder of Shutterstock, John Oranger. Hi, thanks for being here. Hey, us. thanks for having me. So we're at the New York Stock Exchange. You rang the bell this morning, right? Yeah. And that's because you had a awesome IPO, essentially. Yeah, we went public last Thursday. We rang the bell right up there. Cool. All of, all of our employees were outside. It was very exciting. Really cool. So, um, I mean, everything, I mean, people are calling this like a picture-perfect IPO even, especially after what happened with Facebook. People were a little like nervous just coming in with tech companies to the to the public offering. So, what were the what were the circumstances that really made this kind of so? Yeah, successful? well, the IPO went well, and we managed it very carefully. But it, it's not really about this moment right now. It, we've been at this for nine years, and and I want, I'm thinking about the next nine years, right? I'm thinking about years from now. So the IPO went well, but. Um, We'll just move on from here. All right. So you're one of the first New York-based tech companies to go public in a while, since 2010, I think. Yeah, we're the first New York tech company to go public in two years. Yeah. And there are a lot of differences right now between New York and Silicon Valley. Um, and New York seems behind. Is that the case to you? And what do you think are the big differences there? Um, yeah. Well, it, it, I think New York just doesn't get as much attention as it should, right? There's a lot of great companies here. Um, but when people think about tech, they think about the West Coast first. I right. think that's just, you know, maybe we need to be a little bit more out there. Right, definitely. Yeah. Um, so, video. Let's talk about video for a little bit, because I've heard you say that it's kind of the future. What are your plans and as far as video is concerned? Yeah, well, when I started this company, one of the, the, the amazing things that started to happen was professional quality digital SLRs started to drop in value, right? The, uh, the Canon Rebel back in in around 2002 started to drop below $1,000, and that was a big turning point. So now you see digital SLRs that can take HD video, they're dropping in price, and it takes a lot of people to use these cameras over and over and over again to start to get better and better and better at, at, at what they do and what, what they're creating. And so we, we, we believe we're gonna start to see that kind of uh, amazing content come out of you know, anyone who, ha who has a camera and is willing to try to sell it. So it kind of happens over time. You know, we're nine years into this, and we can see the progression of our photographers get better and better, and we'd like to see that happen with video, too. Cool. Um, so you have about 600,000 paying customers now, right? Somewhere between... Yeah, about a half million. Cool. Yeah. Um, and you said recently, I think, in an interview that 70 million companies could use your content. So that's a big gap. You have some momentum now from the IPO. How are you going to go from point A to point B, world domination? <laughs> yeah, well, the, the, the important part of, of the, the equation is that all businesses need images to sell their products and services. And before I started this, there were, there were just a couple of different options, right? You can buy, you know, you can spend a little bit of money, but buy these images that you can see everywhere. Or you can spend hundreds and hundreds of dollars and uh, go with one of the traditional players in this space, you know, and, and, and have to make a phone call and negotiate the rights for that image. So, so the in-between, uh, it, it's just starting to get, to get recognized. We're a high volume marketplace and we sell images for, you know, 10, $10 at a time. So as, pe as businesses start to get used to the fact that they don't have to go out there and, and, and settle for either you know, an image that's not so great for a small amount of money or a really good one for you know, a, a really onerous process, um, they're going to start to use us more and more. And, and, and what we find with, uh, you know, sometimes companies will use images from Flickr or, or some other crowdsource kind of snapshot marketplace, uh, snapshot, I'm sorry, snapshot repository. Um, they may not realize yet that just for just a few dollars they can do it legally and actually get the image they need for their business. Awesome. Well, congratulations on everything. Thanks, Thanks. for chatting with me. Of course, anytime. All right, guys, that's it for Shutterstock and John Oranger.